the Arabs are going to be destroyed, said the Prophet salihun, she asked, Zainab radiallahu ta'ala, will we Arabs be destroyed even though there are righteous people amongst us? He said, Naam, indicating that this is not punishment from Allah. No. They are righteous people, and yet they are being destroyed. This is something which is occurring in the historical purpose for a specific reason, unconnected with punishment. Why will Allah allow the Arabs to be destroyed? Mm -hmm. Answer, he said to his son, Ya Bunayya, Inni ara fil manami anni azbahu. Oh my son, I've seen in my dream, I have to sacrifice you. Fanzur maza tara. Son, how do you respond? The son responded and said, Ya abati fa'al ma tu'mar. Oh my father, go ahead. Do what you've been ordered to do. They thought that it was an actual sacrifice. But Allah is a wise God and a wise God does not order human sacrifice no it's incompatible with wisdom to order human sacrifice so this dream has something else in it this vision okay when he took the knife when he was about to sacrifice his son then Allah called out to him and said Ya Ibrahim O oh Abraham, you have already fulfilled the vision. You have accepted the sacrifice of Ismail alayhi salam. It is that sacrifice of the seed of Ismail alayhi salam which is about to take place concurrently with the Malhama. Hmm? So Gog and Magog are going to be very powerful in and around the Holy Land. And part of that power will be shown in the destruction of the Arabs. And so the flag of Islam will not come anymore from the Arabs after the Malhama. The flag of Islam will be held up by non-Arabs because the Arabs are going to be destroyed. Hmm?